let us discuss about anatomy of the ileum. Ileum is the third and last part of the small intestine and ileum forms the lower three-fifth of the mobile part of the small intestine. It ends at the ileocecal junction and most of the ileum lies in the right lower quadrant. So here as you can see in this picture the walls are thinner and less vascular with narrow lumen and the mesentery of the ileum has abundant fat with no windows. So villi of the ileum are less abundant, shorter and thinner and the ileum has numerous solitary lymphatic follicles and Peyer's patches. And let us discuss about the neurovascular structures of the ileum. First is the arterial supply. The branches from the superior mesenteric artery supplies ileum. At approximately 1 cm inferior to that of celiac trunk, the superior mesenteric artery usually gives off branches. That is, arising from the abdominal aorta at the level of L1 vertebrae, it gives off multiple branches to the ileum. It also includes ileal arteries. So these ileal arteries unite to form loops or arches which are called as arterial arcades which gives rise to a straight arteries called as vasa recta. In ileum, there are approximately 3 to 6 arterial arcades with more numerous and shorter vasa recta. This is what is about the arterial supply. Next is the venous drainage. The superior mesentric vein drains the ileum and in the root of the mesentery, the superior mesentric vein lies anterior to the top right of the superior mesentric artery. So here what happens is the superior mesentric vein unites with the splenic vein to form the hepatic portal vein posterior to the neck of the pancreas. And next is the lymphatic drainage. The lymph form lacteals which are specialized lymphatic uh, vessels in the intestinal villi that absorbs fat. So these lacteals drains into the lymphatic plexus in the walls of the ileum. From there it drains into the lymphatic vessels in the mesentery to juxta intestinal lymph nodes, to the mesentric lymph nodes, to the superior central nodes and finally drains into the superior mesentric lymph nodes. And what is the nerve supply? The sympathetic nerve supply from T9 to T11 segments and the parasympathetic nerve supply is from the vagus mainly from the posterior vagal trunk. Next is the clinical anatomy. Meckel's diverticulum. Meckel's diverticulum is a remnant of the proximal part of the embryonic omphaloentric duct. It is a congenital anomaly approximately seen in 2% of the population. So the location, the site of the attachment of the omphaloentric duct on the anti-mesentric border, that is the border opposite to that of the mesentric attachment of the ileum. As I already mentioned you that it occurs in 2% of the individuals and it is 2 inches long that is 5 centimeters and situated 2 feet proximal to the ileocecal valve that is 60 centimeters and its mucosa is ileal in type but it may also include the areas of acid producing gastric tissue, pancreatic tissue or jejunal or colonic mucosa. It may become inflamed and produce pain mimicking that of uh, appendicitis. So this is what you need to know about the anatomy of the ileum.